Pettis Library friends. This is Miss Amy. I'm here with my Tell Me a Story preschool story time kids today and all of our stories are going to be about colors. I forgot I was doing stories about colors today or I might have worn something a little more colorful but don't worry even though I have on a gray shirt all my books and all my songs and all my poems will have lots of different colors in them. I am so glad that you could be here today and here's our buddy Pete. Hey Pete. How are you today? He's got on his red and blue sneakers, so Pete has some great colors going too. What are you wearing today? Look down at the clothes you have on. Do you have some great colors? I hope you know what colors because we're gonna sing a song later. Also later, we're going to do a little song with some scarves so and some different colors of things. So if you have a scarf in your house, or a dish towel, or even a sock, or a washcloth. It can be any color that you want. And we're going to wave some things around that are colorful and twirl them, whirl them around. And we're also going to be um, looking for things around your house and here at the library that have all different colors. So we're gonna do colors probably for two weeks. So get ready for some color fun. Okay, let's start with our welcome song. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For my friends are your friends, and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And I think I have, yes I do, my two little blackbirds. So help me sing. Today we'll just sing the regular version. And we'll do it two times. So you can use your thumb or your finger or your whole hand to make two little blackbirds. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away Jack, fly away Jill. Come back Jack and come back Jill. Let's do it again. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away Jack, fly away Jill. Come back Jack and come back Jill. I hope you notice the beautiful colors on the bulletin board behind me. Mr. Austin made a great spring bulletin board and we have orange and pink and purple and you can't see them real well, but red and blues and all sorts of great colors on our board. So if you stop into the library, and remember you can come anytime Monday through Friday, come on in and see our beautiful new spring bulletin board while you pick out some books. And the first book I'm going to share today is called Dog's Colorful Day. Now while I'm reading about Dog's Colorful Day, look around your room that you're in a little bit or the people that are sitting with you and see what colors you see. Because after this book, we're gonna look for some of those colors. Dog's Colorful Day, written by Emma Dodd. A messy story about colors and counting. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog is white with one black spot on his left ear. At breakfast time, Dog sits under the table as usual. Splat! A drip of red jam lands on his back. Now, the dog has two spots. After breakfast, Dog runs outside. He slips past the man painting the front door. Splish! His tail dips into the blue paint. Now, Dog has three spots. Black, red, blue. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. Now Dog has four spots. Dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives Dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate to eat. Now Dog has five spots. A bee buzzes up to see what is going on. Swish! The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Now Dog has six spots. Help me see them. Blue, red, yellow, green, black, and brown. Dog trots on through the park. 
splash, a drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Now Dog has seven spots. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash! A bouncing ball splatters Dog with gray mud. Now Dog has eight spots. In front of the gate, Dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt! A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now Dog has nine spots. Dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly Dog! Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on Dog's head. Now Dog has 10 spots. Vicky looks down at Dog. She counts his colorful spots. Will you help me color them? Count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Vicky looks more closely. Dog has a red spot of jam blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a brown smear of chocolate, a yellow patch of pollen, a pink drop of ice cream, a gray splatter of mud, an orange splash of juice, a purple smudge of ink, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. When dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you've had. Dreaming about milk bones and all those colors. Now let's sing a little song. Let's see. Where is red? Where is red? Look around. Look around, point to something red, point to something red. Then jump up and down, up and down. I have a red kite. What are you finding that's red in your house? Point to it and then with Pete, jump up and down. Whoops, you can point to Pete's red shoe if you didn't find anything in your house. Where is blue? Where is blue? Look around, look around. Point to something blue. Point to something blue and dance around. Dance around. I'll point to Pete and to my flannel board. Do you see something blue? Make sure you dance around while you point to it. Dance around, dance around. Where is yellow? Where is yellow? Twirl around, twirl around. Point to something yellow. Point to something yellow. Twirl around, twirl around. I see yellow on the center of our flowers and some yellow on my words and on our books. So twirl around when you see something yellow. Where is green? Where is green? Stomp around, stomp around. Point to something green, point to something green and stomp around, stomp around. I see lots of green here on our bulletin board, here on our cushions, on our parts of our library, and on my kites. Lots of green. Do you see green all around? Where is purple? Where is purple? Sit right down. Sit right down. Point to something purple. Point to something purple. Then sit down. Then sit down. I happen to have my purple scarf. Do you have something purple near you? Point to it and then sit we're going to do another story about colors, of course. This one is called Butterfly, Butterfly. It's a beautiful book of colors. And it also has a surprise, so make sure you're watching closely. One day, Lucy's 
saw a beautiful butterfly. She played with it and she chased it all around the garden. The next day, Lucy couldn't find the butterfly anywhere. But she did find a pink earthworm wiggling along the ground and a brown spider busy spinning her web. Now I don't know if you're noticing, but the pages have little holes in them and it gives you a hint as to what's on the next page. On this page, oh, there's not a hole on that page. On this page, there's a hole and then turns into the background for this page. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle, and that's the same hole that was the spider, and a family of very spotty red ladybugs scurrying around. She saw a snail with an orange shell slithering. There's the holes making her polka dots. Three purple caterpillars munching a leaf, a shimmering blue dragonfly, little hole right there and a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing about but Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere she looked and she looked Lucy lay down the cool grass to wait and then high in the sky there it was her colorful beautiful butterfly and I think you can tell that that is bouncing right off of the book. Isn't that cool? It's a great pop-up butterfly at the end of that story. And on the end pages are all the different little bugs that Lucy saw while she was looking for the butterfly. What a beautiful, colorful book that was. I've got a poem about some kites. You may have noticed that I had some kites going. Let me make sure I have them all. Red kites, blue kites flying by, yellow kites, green kites in the sky. They fly high and they fly low, twirling, whirling, round they go. Red kites, blue kites, red flying by, yellow kites, green kites in the sky. See if you can say that. Now, if you found a scarf and it's, or a pair of socks or anything that are any of these colors, you wave it in the sky as if it's a kite, okay? Get ready, we'll sing it again. Red kites, blue kites flying by, yellow kites, green kites in the sky. They fly high and they fly low, twirling, whirling, round they go. Red kites, blue kites, flying high, yellow kites, green kites in the sky. I think we'll do one more story. There are so many fun color songs and stories, it's hard to decide. But I think we, I think we will read, Lemons Are Not Red. Now you probably know what color lemons are. This book is a good hint. Lemons are yellow, right? by Laura Vaccaro Seeger. Lemons are not red. Now this is another book that has holes in it and gives you hints about something on the next page. Lemons are yellow. Apples are red. Carrots are not purple. You know what color carrots are? Of course, carrots are orange. Eggplants are purple. Flamingos are not gray. Flamingos are pink. Elephants are gray. Reindeer are not white. Reindeer are brown. Snowmen are white. Grass is not blue. We haven't seen too much grass yet, but it's starting to sprout up. And you know what color grass is. Grass is 
green. The sky is blue. The moon is not black. The moon is silver. The night is black. Good night. I'm going to do one more little song. And if you have a scarf or anything else oh, you can dance with, you can stand up and dance while we sing this, okay? Rainbow dancers, let's get ready. Hold your scarfs nice and steady. You'll hear the colors of the rainbow list before your time to go. Now, if you have the color I sing, you do whatever I say. Shake red, shake orange, shake yellow, shake green, shake blue, shake purple, shake all the colors now. Red scarves turn around, orange scarves up and down, yellow scarves reach up high, green ribbons fly, 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 purple scarves tickle your nose, I'm sorry, blue scarves tickle your nose, purple scarves touch your toes. Everybody dance around, swirl your scarves up and down. It can be a scarf, a ribbon, a towel, a washcloth, a sock, anything you have. We'll sing it one more time before I go. Ready? I hope you have something that you're dancing with. Rainbow dancers, let's get ready. Hold your scarves nice and steady. You'll hear the colors of the rainbow. Listen for your time to go. Shake red, shake yellow, shake orange, shake green, shake blue, shake purple, shake your scarves around. Red scarves turn around, orange scarves up and down, yellow scarves reach up high, green scarves fly, fly, fly. Blue scarves tickle your nose, purple scarves touch your toes. Everybody dance around, swirl your scarves up and down. So I hope you have fun with colors the rest of today. And I hope you have fun all week. I hope you can get outside, see the colors that are starting to sprout up in the ground. Maybe start thinking about a garden. Maybe start watching for the flowers that are poking their heads up and the buds on the trees. So that's all I have for today and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.